Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing. And please keep motivating me by giving me stuff to react to. I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. Or will be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. Um, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Just head there, say hi. We'll say hi back. We're more than glad to become friends. Check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we actually put out. We also do other things. You can check the description box below and actually check us out. So today, I'm going to be reacting to Sad Guru on what's wrong with today's educational system, education system, mystics of India. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. We are bringing up children with this fear. If you don't pass, you know what will happen to you? Continuously fear-based education. Eighteen thousand children in 2015 have committed suicide in our country. Is there a worse thing than this? That I think it's pathetic, a human being has to construct their life. A human beings have to construct their lives all the time thinking about how to earn a living. An earthworm, a grasshopper, a bird on the tree, all of them earn their living, isn't it? With such a big brain, you're supposed to do something little different than just earn a living. Earning a living should be the most basic thing. With a millionth of your brain, you can handle it. But we have raised earning a living to the heavens today, unfortunately. Entire system is about how to earn a living, how to earn a living. This is a way of completely destroying human intelligence. This is a way of tarnishing human genius in every possible way because how to earn a living has become the greatest thing in the world. Why people are driving you in this direction is, because they've built one fake economic engine which they have to feed all the time. They have to feed it all the time. Because of this, we are sacrificing our children as a fuel for this economic engine that we have built. It is time at least a niche amount of children are not concerned about how they will earn their living. When I was growing up, not for a moment I had this thought in my mind, how will I earn my living? My father used to be worried, what will happen to this boy? There is no fear in his heart about anything. One day I turned around and asked him, when did fear become a virtue? <laughs> I'm saying, we are bringing up children with this fear. If you don't pass, you know what will happen to you? Continuously fear-based education, that if you don't get this many marks, you're finished. Eighteen thousand children in 2015 have committed suicide in our country. When our children commit suicide, we must know we are doing something fundamentally wrong. There's no question about it anymore, isn't it? Children are fresh life, exuberant life. If children have to take their own lives, there is no worse thing that can happen to your society. Isn't it so? Is there, a, is there a worse thing that can happen to your society? I'm asking you, is there a worse thing? Many of you are parents, is there a worse thing than this, that your child less than twelve, thirteen years of age committed suicide? Can you ever recover from that, I'm asking? This is the ho most horrible thing that can happen. And this is happening because in our country, ninety-eight is pass mark. <laughs> yes, 
Even if you get ninety-eight, parents will ask what happened to the other two percent. So we, as educators, if we are really responsible human beings, we need to turn this around, it's very, very important. And this is a crucial time. All these years, there has been a certain economic depravity in the society where they wouldn't listen to anything. Earning a living was everything. At least we are on a threshold of an economic possibility. This is the time to change the mentality of education. This is the time for the parents and the children to look at it little differently. Listen to, listening to this, I was wishing both of us were actually, I mean both of us, that is Jesse and I were actually reacting to this because I kind of like his thoughts about the education system and what he, he would like instead. Um, it's true we have to change this thing that we've been that our parents believe in, not just our parents, even us sometimes believe in it. I'd love how the new generation is changing things. Nowadays, you don't have to go to school, not even just nowadays, even back then, you don't have to go to school to make something out of yourself, career-wise. You can become a TikTok something, you can become, you can become something of yourself on YouTube, you can become something on... I mean, it's just a different world. Times have changed. There's many different areas someone can venture into without a degree, without a, um, high school papers, and they make it. You can be so many things in life. Let's stop being limited by thinking the school way is the only way to make it in life. Let's stop thinking... Um, the textbook way is the only way of life. We can learn from our parents and how they run their businesses. We can learn from our aunties and how they maybe raise kids, how they've made something out of themselves in life and see where that knowledge take, um, takes you. We can talk from the, from the people around us and how, what they're doing. We can learn their mistakes, what not, all those things can come and help you build yourself up just don't think that because you've been taught this one way this one way is the only way to making it in life no also it's important for parents i feel like it's important for parents raising children to be in their lives so that they control what their child learns or things about life, you start teaching them at a younger age so that they may not have, so that they may not be limited in their thinking or just think that, um, or, or they should just think the way they're taught in school. No, there's more ways to think in life. We need to open up our brains, our minds, our everything. Parents should be willing to teach their children skills, teach their children Whatever it is, it takes. Don't just rely on school, rely on other fact outside factors as well. Imagine having a pass mark of 98, that's insane. So you're telling me below 98 then you failed? That's crazy, that's very, very crazy. And imagine shouting at your child because they got 98, that, that will injure someone's pride. That will take away something from that child, even you you as a parent even if you don't recognize that we need to learn to uplift children we need to learn to reward children for the good that they do for the knowledge that they're learning and see where they're taking it you know not just being ignorant because i'm a parent i can say whatever i want i can control what my child learns despite not knowing what they themselves want to do also it's also good to focus on what your child is good at don't just choose for them focus on what your child is good at and let them explore that interest and yeah that's what i have to say what do you guys have to say about this really enjoyed this sad girl video uh if there's anything you want me to react to let me know by dropping the name or the link down below i'll be more than glad to react to it 
make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video